What up, folks? I'm Ultimazil, and today I have a review of the SH Figure Arts SS Ultraman Tiga Power Type. That's right, this is the second Ultraman in SH Figure Arts Special More Deluxe line, and we get Ultraman Tiga Power Type, the second form of Tiga. And, uh, you know, the first one was a little controversial uh, with the rubbery parts, but I, I liked that Tiga, I did. Well, I like the power type. I don't know, the box is nice, so what I further ado, let's get to it. And here's Tiga P, all out of the package. And uh, he's pretty good looking, he is. Uh, I just like, you know, the classic Ultraman colors on this guy, you know? It looks very, very nice. Sure, power type. Whatever. He's just kind of classic. It's Tiga in classic Ultraman colors. That's why I really wanted to get this one. Um, you know, I haven't been getting too many of the alternate suits, but I felt like this one just looked cool. Uh, it really did. So, yeah, I like it. Overall, it's it's really, really nice. But looking at the finer details, of course, he's got a color timer in uh, like a light blue, and that looks pretty good. It does. Let's zoom in even closer to see it. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty nice. And then he's got right here. What is it? Oh my gosh! It's silver and gold on the chest. And uh, yeah, that's done pretty well. I do dig it. All around there, it looks good. Silver here on the rest of his chest. Uh, back <laughs> looks good. Oh nope. Look at that. Didn't paint all the way to the ends there. Hmm. Wonder how. Yeah, I could still see it. Yeah, yeah, that's a bummer. Um, in the front part, chest looks okay. Little belly here looks good. These shoulder pads aren't so bad. You know, some lines come out a little bit, but it's not the worst. Underneath the arms here, the silver looks good there. Sculpt is, you know, it's very standard, but I do like here. It's, he's not very powerful looking, but this was an older, you know, time. So the 90s, right? It was the 90s. Uh, fists, legs here, Krajiji. Back at Krajiji, back at the legs. Paints, you know, it's fine enough. The legs look decent enough a little is that a little excess gold right uh silver right there it is it, it's oh, man i i can't that i can't notice the naked eye but i see it really zoomed in um the knees look decent the legs the bottom of the legs look really good the feet you know the joints you know i, I wish they would just try to do something different with the joints color wise i mean you know it ruins it for a figure like this in my opinion but that's me. I don't know. The head sculpt here on Tiga looks pretty good. The eyes look pretty decent. You know what I'm saying? The eyes look pretty good. Uh, the mouth looks pretty good. The jewel on his forehead looks pretty good. The ears look pretty good. His crest here looks good. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a good Tiga head. And it's a good Tiga figure, I think. Uh, ooh, oh, this is in focus. Uh, it's a good Tiga figure. Overall, I, I think it's nice. You know, it, I mean, it is what it is. It, it's good. Again, we got like, you know, rubber pieces and, you know, your mileage is going to vary on how you feel about that. But, you know, it doesn't hurt the look at all. And that actually feels good and nothing looks crazy. I think, you know, people go crazy about it because it's, you know, possible it could crack. But it also depends on what you do with your figure. So, you know, there's a lot of... There's a lot of ways you can look at it, guys. There's a lot of ways you can look at it. But uh, it looks good. I mean, I, I, I do like it. I And the feel of it, I, I think, is cool. I mean, your mileage is going to vary. But I, I do dig this. Articulation on Tiga head. Moves on the joint there. And at the head. Then the upper body moves really really nicely the body moves so you got and got a little bit of bend within here as well 
and then you know the waist is nicely moves nicely uh you do have a butterfly joint here with some pretty good range of motion very good range of motion the shoulder moves goes out like that you have a bicep swivel you have a double jointed elbow as well as a, a little bit of a little bit of a swivel in there not really uh, uh don't, don't break your finger hinge swivel at the wrists the legs come out like this which is good forwards very very good because again this is soft plastic back swivel in here works really nice double jointed knee works nice you have a hinge and a swivel and it can rock at the foot and you got the toe articulation so very good articulation here on tiga very very good for accessories first we get the dreaded color timer oh gosh do i hate these things well documented here on this channel not a fan of color timers and not a fan of uh, losing color time it is or uh, them kept, keep popping out so i won't be trying it but there you go you get a nice little color timer in a very interesting color it's kind of like a pinkish orange i don't know what that color would be called but it it's cool enough i guess and we get a plethora of hands including some really outstretched hands which look really cool and uh you know the beam hands or karate chopper hands i think i dropped a fist uh well maybe not a fist some other open hands some kind of holding type hands what did i drop here another holding type hand i did i did so you can hold something or other but you get a nice amount of hands that's good speaking of hands we get a beam accessory which is very very cool kind of in a yellowish orange kind of like a pp yellow almost with a hand attachment it does look rather cool. We also uh, get some blast effects from the beam. And now there's kind of a little bit of a method to putting this together. And do be careful. These things are pretty sharp. There's a hole there. And this little adapter to the stand that comes with it. So you'd want to do that. And then you have this part here, which is going to be on the outside. And, oh, I lost the bottom part, but that's okay. It's probably better. Because then we could put it in the correct way. So you're attaching two effect parts together. Like a Build-A-Beam, guys. It's like a Build-A-Beam. So there's that, right? Now, there is a little kind of keyhole there. And uh, your beam, you're going to put in there. And then, there you go. It's going to be coming... <laughs> from uh tiga here which you'll see at the end uh but also if you do not want to well once it's gone and you want to use it for something else you have another one of these and now it's just you know a flying you know ball of beam a comet thing and you can do something like this um, but you know what? Points off, because I filmed this a bazillion times, uh, every part of this little accessory part, effect part, um, because I just kept hurting myself, or I just kept falling apart. Um, so points off. I I'm, I'm, I'm deducting points for this not being fun and actually being painful, but it looks good. Tiga also comes with this ball of power. With his hand, but another hand. It's really cool. Nice crystal ball so this one you do need the other like open hand one of those open hands you know to do the whole look it to my crystal ball i guess i'll do it at the end but look into it it's pretty cool and for your size comparison here is a tiga power type with a bunch of other figures you might have in your collection including the regular tiga release which is still doing very good for me no no, no cracking there no cracking at all and my final thoughts you know the figure is very good it comes with a lot of accessories those accessories are very painful um do be careful with the the beam and the effect parts uh they're very very sharp um, so, yeah, you know, I said points off, and I kind of mean it because it just makes the whole thing not so fun to use. 
Uh, but the figure itself is very good. I really, really like it. Some minor, very minor blemishes. It's on the back as well, so who cares? But um, it's there. Uh, but I think the figure is good. You know, the rubber parts seem all all good here. Um, no worries on my part. I really don't care. Uh, what lasts forever, guys? What lasts forever? Uh, but I like this figure. I think he looks really, really cool. I kind of like him better than the regular multi-type. I, I kind of do. Um, you know, it's just more in keeping in line with what Ultraman looks like, and I dig that. So, there you go, guys. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.